Okay, so now we start talking about disk management. Uh, and our focus will be on the, uh, on the magnetic disk. Uh, so the magnetic disk with a, uh, with a head and with, uh, uh, you know, this is what we call, uh, the magnetic disk consists of cylinders. So this is the cylinder. So each cylinder consists of multiple tracks. So these are the tracks. This is one track. This is another track, a third track. So these tracks <coughs> are uh, uh, consist a cylinder. All of these tracks consist. Uh, all of these tracks constitute a cylinder. So the cylinder is the biggest. Uh, uh, is the biggest unit. And each cylinder consists of multiple tracks. And each track consists of multiple sectors. So the sector is the smallest unit. So you have the cylinder, you have the cylinder, you have the track, you have the uh, sector. So a disk address will consist of a cylinder number, a track number within that cylinder, and a sector number within that track. Uh, and this is cylinder zero. So cylinder zero is the closest to the head. This is the head. This is the read-write head. And in order to read a certain sector, the head must be must meet that sector. So in order to do a read or a write, the head and the sector, the target sector, must meet. And, and in order to do that, the head will have to move. So this head moves linearly. And the track moves in a circular manner. The track rotates. So there is, uh, you know, suppose that we are trying to reach this sector. In order to reach this sector, first the head will have to move to get to this track. Then this track will have to rotate so that this uh, this sector meets this head. So the sector is the smallest unit. And as we will see in, uh, in disk management, a file will be divided into blocks. A block. So this is the file. Files will be divided into blocks. So this is block one, block two, block three. And each block will get mapped to a sector. A block will get mapped to a sector. Now, if we try to draw an analogy with uh, virtual memory, what does the block correspond to and what does the sector correspond to in virtual memory? <coughs> We're trying to draw an analogy between disk management and memory management. So the block corresponds to so in, in virtual memory management, we map what into what? Page to a frame. Yeah, pages into frames. So the page is the logical unit, and the frame is the physical unit in memory management. In disk management, the logical unit is the block. So you divide a file into blocks. So this is logical, and this is physical. So logical blocks get mapped into physical sectors on disk. What's the typical sector size? Uh, it's half a kilobyte. <coughs> OK, so magnetic disks still form the bulk of uh, you know, secondary storage, or they are still uh, the most <coughs> widely used devices for mass storage. Uh, you know, people are using more solid state disks these days, but solid state disks are still too expensive. So they're still, uh, you know, not affordable enough to give us enough, uh, you know, enough uh, mass storage for a reasonable price. So that's why mass storage is still using uh, magnetic disks. I guess until 
solid state uh, solid state disks become cheap enough. When solid state disks become cheap enough, then probably will be using if they become cheap enough, then people will probably be using more solid state. Okay, so uh, magnetic disks. Uh, yeah, so and so these the, we have two kinds of motion: the linear motion of the head and the rotational motion of the track. And both are slow, and both are in the millisecond range. So typically, uh, the head motion or the seek time, we call it the seek time. Uh, you know, typical numbers are three milliseconds. Uh, and for the rotational motion, two milliseconds, that's for a fast disk. And we have larger numbers for a slower disk. Now, when we talk milliseconds, that's how many CPU cycles? Yeah, millions of CPU cycles. So this is very slow. Uh, six orders of magnitude slower than the CPU. And four orders of magnitude slower than main memory, roughly. <coughs> so main memory is roughly two orders of magnitude slower than the CPU. Uh, so this is very much you know, what you have in, in your system. And to get the actual transfer of data, you still have to add the transfer time. So it's not only the seek time. Once you get, once the head meets the sector, then you need time to transfer data from disk to memory or from memory to disk. And there is also the controller overhead as well. <coughs> because that controller is a, the controller is the, uh, is the hardware, the piece of hardware that controls the disk. Okay, so let's talk about Solid state, there isn't much that we can say except that they are faster. Uh, they are faster and they are more expensive. Our study here will focus on magnetic disks. Uh, there is also magnetic tapes that we should be aware of, and I think all of us know that they are used for archiving. And they are much slower than magnetic disks. So they are still much slower, but they can have huge amounts of data. They have the very high capacity and they're used for uh, backup. Uh, so the, the structure of the disk, as we said, we have the logical blocks that get mapped into the sectors. And a disk, uh, a disk address is specified by a cylinder number, a track number, and a sector number. 